so you know oftentimes people ask like how do you make the that's a big one dude oh that's a big one come on baby let's stay on there oh yeah that's a good one. Oh yeah yes and that's how you get it done <laughs> Oh no no! I saw. Oh, she's fine. I saw that one eat it on live, dude. And look how many there are with it. <laughs> That's how you get it done, man. I was just gonna say, people ask all the time how you make the decision. How do you make the decisions on the water to catch more fish? And really, you have to rely on your electronics. I mean, literally, you catch them one day, and then the next day they're gone. You ask yourself, where did they go? Well, the answer is on that right there. I mean, there is no second guessing with, you know, Mega Live and 360. You know exactly where they're at. And if you put a bait down there, <laughs> they're going to bite it, dude. But you got to know where to cast. That is awesome. Hazards or just all of that. Welcome to Texas. Water's starting to cool off a little bit, so that's good. This is probably about the first north wind of the season, of the late season. So things are starting to happen. You know, one of the more uh, often overlooked structures that hold bass uh, are saddles. You know, points get a whole lot of attention, ledges get a whole lot of attention, drop-offs get a lot of attention, but what's often overlooked, especially late in the season when it's hot, water's warm, temperatures are going to change, fish are in transition, saddles. Take a look at saddles. The only way to really kind of define the saddle is by utilizing Lake Master. I like, you know, this new Lake Master VX chip. Uh, you're able to go in and, and highlight your depths, colorize your depths to where these saddles really stand out. And essentially, what a saddle is, is a high spot and a high spot. That nice little saddle in between, it literally looks like a horse's saddle. And it holds a lot of big fish, especially when the fish are in transition. Right now, I've got a depth highlight in areas from you know 20 to 12 feet of water. That's what my high spots are. And there's this nice, beautiful saddle in that 15 foot range. And it's holding a whole lot of bait fish. As I idle over the saddle, I'm zooming in here. Literally, the bottom of the saddle here is in about 16 feet of water or so. But as I look at my down imaging here, there's a whole bunch of predatory fish in the shape of, you know, bass, uh, white bass, sand bass, whatever these are, they're a lot bigger than what those shad are. So a saddle is a good place to kind of idle over and pinpoint where some of these predatory fish are ambushing uh, these shad. So, you know, when a lot of people are off the ends of these points, these really classic looking points, don't forget to look at these saddles in between those points, in between these high spots, because let's face it, those points get a lot of pressure, but if you utilize Lake Master mapping, you could identify those saddles, and a lot of times you could pick up fish in between guys or around guys that aren't targeting this specific structure. There's one, big one, big bass. Yep, came off. It's all right, there's more there. I could see him on live. Those are all bass, boys. Oh yeah, they're following me, dude. There's one, got him. Yep, big one. Yeah, there we go. He ain't big, but he's fun. That is cool, man. That's one of the funnest bites, and you can see all his buddies down there. You just have a gorgeous saddle here, Lake Master VX, the new stuff. And I've got all the different colors on here, and I can really identify that saddle nicely. A couple waypoints, and those, you know, the shadows on 360, look how apparent they are. I mean, that is them right there, just simply in that 11 o'clock position. 
I pan that Ultrex over there and look at all those bass suspended. This tells me they're suspended up off the bottom. Mega Live tells me exactly how far down, and that's 10 feet. So when I pitch my flutter spoon down there, I'm watching, I'm watching it down. And when it gets to that 10 foot range, I could see it on there. When it gets that 10 foot range, that's when I jerk it up and I keep it right there in the wheelhouse. And there's a whole giant school of them just like that down there. I used to lose a whole bunch of fish, you know, using this technique. You know, throwing a big giant flutter spoon on some active chasing fish underneath the surface. They're not busting, but they're really active underneath the surface. And I love throwing a big spoon like this, utilizing my electronics, throwing a big flutter spoon. It just, it kind of gets the larger than normal fish to react, you know, when those fish are suspended. Yes, I love throwing crankbaits like the rest of the guys, and I love throwing swim baits, but there's something about a big piece of fake metal um, that triggers those bigger ones, especially when, you know, they're exposed after seeing them on Mega Live up there off, off, off the bottom. They kind of follow it down and crush it as it's falling down. But I used to lose a lot of fish throwing straight fluorocarbon. I simply made an adjustment by going to a, a, a heavier rod um, for one. I'm using a seven foot 10 uh, heavy. This is a 13 fishing muse rod. And this is like the power fishing, uh, the power fisherman's like dream lineup. So this is, the, this is the muse, you can pull on it. Doesn't feel like it's gonna snap. It almost feels like a flipping stick when you're casting way out there. It's got plenty of power, but um, I made the adjustment and I started fishing braid. It's a braid to fluorocarbon. Um, I'm just kind of adjusting my line right here. But I like throwing this, you know, Smackdown braid. It's a 50 pound high vis braid. So it's green as this thing's fluttering down. I could see it. I simply use a barrel swivel, 30 pound Seaguar gold label leader. And I've got my nice little spoon there. It's kind of a little secret spoon I like throwing, but it flutters just right. And when you see these ingredients right here, you see those nice shadows. You pan over and you see those beautiful fish suspended off the bottom. I mean, I feel like these fish have seen a whole bunch of crankbaits, a whole bunch of jigs, but this big f fake piece of metal really just represents these little white bass and these big giant gizzard shad that are cruising around. And it drives fish nuts, especially when the water temperatures are higher than 75 degrees. You know, with 360, I know, okay, so my, you know, my transducer is at the one o'clock, it's at the two o'clock, right now it's at the three o'clock. If something appears on my 360, I will re, you know, reassure myself, okay, there, there they are suspended right there. I just make that three o'clock cast, you know, with my, uh, you know, with my range markers, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 feet out, 80 feet's approximately a kind of a medium cast out there. So that's where I kind of know, and you're constantly trying to pinpoint, okay, so here they are, they're about 30 feet out in front. So right now I'm pulling my spoon up and I just want to drop my spoon right in front of where these fish are in 30 feet. The really cool thing about live is you know exactly when, okay, so it's down there nine feet, 10 feet, boom, I'm gonna start jerking from right there. And it's almost like jigging a spoon down in 50 feet of water vertically. I could see on, on live, I'm just kind of creating this nice zigzag straight through the school. And I'm just giving all the school of fish here the option to attack this thing when it's right in front of their face. They're not having to chase it all the way down the bottom. They're not coming to the top. Mega Live allows me to jerk it through the school, let it flutter, jerk through the school and flutter. Just a nice little zigzag presentation here. And it's paid off so far. We've only been on this spot for like 10 minutes and I've had like four bites doing this. It's so much fun. Gosh, when they get it, they, ooh, they hammer it, dude. There she is, big one. Oh, that's a giant. Oh. Oh, stay on there. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not even joking you, that is so much fun right there. And you cannot accomplish that without 360, without Mega Live. You just don't know where to cast and you don't know how far to let it sink down. And that tells me it right there. Another five pound plus fish, that is so awesome, dude. That's so, you guys could have your points. Just let me fish this saddle right here. No one else is fishing, that's awesome. Whew. All right, gotta get back in there. 